I'm going to assume that your idea is a phrase, which is defined as a unit of music that makes sense if you play it by itself. Whether your idea is a melody, chord progression, drum loop, or anything in between, phrases are the building blocks of it. So in order to expand upon the idea, simply repeat it, then change the ending bar or two to create a new phrase. This is the simplest way to go about development and intelligent use of repetition with variation at the end of the new phrase. I know the header of this section sounds very fuzzy, but this isn't a crazy concept. Say you have a nice little melody in C major. Happy and normal, right? Well, what if we move this guy to the relative minor, changing it to an A minor melody? Well, it sounds quite different now, a little darker perhaps, but it still has the same core of the original idea. This is the whole point of guiding the idea into different worlds, by changing a fundamental part of the idea, but maintaining basically every other aspect of it. Ways of doing this are changing time signature, transposing it, and stretching or compressing it. This is a great way to reintroduce the idea after a long time of not hearing it, as the listener may think it is a new idea at first, but will be able to find the connection either eventually or immediately. Also, when changing the end of the phrase feels too overused or perhaps out of place, this can be used to great effect as well. This step can be considered optional, but sometimes before making a radical change to the idea, it can be useful to restate it in its original form first. Think from the listener's point of view, or uh, hearing I guess. The idea may be super familiar to you, but not for them. They haven't replayed it a dozen times like you probably have. They aren't as familiar with the idea as you are. Therefore, sometimes consider resetting the idea as it was originally before changing phrases or taking it into different worlds. So be careful and give the listener a break. I know this video is referring to your singular musical idea, but I really want to emphasize this point as it is very important. A beautiful garden will not just have one type of plant in it, regardless of the natural variations between those plants. An aesthetically pleasing garden will likely have many species of plants, some very different from one another. Oftentimes, the best way to develop your existing ideas is to give them a break and let a new idea shine for a bit. The listener will enjoy the variety, if done correctly and in a not so jarring way, and will also be pleased to encounter the old ideas once you reintroduce them. And finally, why not combine these different ideas together? It is really not that difficult, it just requires some trial and error. You may have to change the structure of one idea to match the other, or transpose slash change the mode of the other while trying to space them out to work together. But when done correctly, it will sound magnificent. You can also create several ideas with the intent to combine them together, like a melody with its chords and a counter melody. This is a very high IQ move, as when you actually go to make them one, the relationship between them is automatically fluid and natural without any tinkering, and the listener will certainly appreciate that. By utilizing these approaches, you can effectively develop your musical ideas, expand your creative possibilities, and create engaging and dynamic compositions.